Good afternoon. This is Faith Hope Love 5047. Today's selection, my kids want me to read Billy's Bucket. Arthur, Cass Gray, and Gary Parson. If you enjoy the book, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. Billy's Bucket. Is this a fun book? Mm -hmm. yes. Can I have a bucket for my birthday, asked Billy. Billy's dad looked up from his newspaper. A bucket? You don't want a bucket on your birthday. No one gets a bucket for his birthday. Why not, asked Billy. Because Billy, explained his mom, buckets are, well, buckets are too far or far too buckly to be a birthday present. Would you like a bucket for your birthday? Yeah. You would, you wouldn't. Okay. I more But Billy wouldn't be persuaded. Please, can I have a bucket, he asked. How about a bike, said his dad. Or some new sneakers, said his mom. Or a computer game. I want a bucket, said Billy. All right, <sighs> sighed Billy's dad. Can you, you can have a bucket for your birthday. Yippee, shouted Billy. So loud. The next day, Billy and his mom and dad went to Buckets R Us. There were buckets of buckets at Buckets R Us. Rubber buckets, plastic buckets, metal buckets, garden buckets, farm buckets, builder's buckets, beach buckets, and even soccer buckets. Billy's mom and dad followed Billy up and down every single aisle. What kind of bucket are you looking for, they asked. I don't know, said Billy, but I'll know it when I see it. Bobby, Billy looked long and hard at every single bucket at every single shelf. There it is, he shouted. That's the one I want. Right there. It's 14 shelves up, 78 across from the left. Bob, Billy's mom and dad got someone to help them. They all look the same to me, said the sales clerk doubtfully. No, that one is special, said Billy excitedly. No one got the special. When Billy got home, he ran straight into the kitchen and filled his bucket with water. He did. Those are footsteps. Cool, said Billy, peering inside his bucket. I can see a rock pool with crabs and seaweed, a little shrimp and little shrimpy things. Mm -hmm. Of course you can, Billy agrees. Billy, I'm sorry. Of course you can, Billy, agreed his dad. You yeah. think daddy believed him? Yeah. Oh, wow, said Billy. I just saw a shark. Of course and you did, Billy. His mom smiled. Do you think mom believed him? Guess what I saw, exclaimed Billy, sitting down for his birthday dinner. I saw a stingray, some clownfish, a bunch of barracudas, and a mermaid, I think, but it might have been a big hearing. Of course you did, his dad chuckled. What is, what's in your bucket at the moment, Billy? His dad chuckled again. Two submarines and a sardine, said Billy. What's in your bucket now, Billy? His mom giggled. Seven sea lions and a walrus, said Billy. Of course, his parents exclaimed. So these are the sea lions. When you were asking me earlier, those are the sea lions. That night, Billy was still staring into his bucket. Billy's dad nudged his wife and winked. Is it much? Daddy winked. Billy, is it okay if we borrow your bucket to mix up some paint tomorrow? What is he gonna say? No. Billy shook his head. No, it isn't. There are dolphins in my bucket right now. You must never borrow my bucket. 
Billy's mom waited a few minutes, a few moments, and winked at her husband. Billy, is it okay if we borrow your bucket to water the roses tomorrow? Billy frowned. He didn't think it was funny. There are two scuba divers in my bucket right now. You must never, never borrow my bucket. Billy's dad just smiled and waited a few more minutes. Billy, is it okay if I borrow your bucket to wash the car tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and sighed. <gasps> no, it isn't okay. There's a coral reef in my bucket right now. You must never, never, ever, ever borrow my bucket. What an imagination, exclaimed Billy's mom and dad. But it's time for bed. Billy put his bucket away and went downstairs. Thanks for a great birthday, he called, and the best present in the world. He was so happy to have that bucket. I think we should always be grateful for what we get. When Billy woke up the next morning, he got dressed quickly and ran downstairs to play with his bucket. But it wasn't there. He put it away in his kitchen. By the time Billy found his dad, he was too late. What happened? Daddy was using his bucket. I told you not to borrow my pocket, said Billy. Why is the whale playing? Daddy whale? It took Billy's mom and dad six hours, three fire engines, four cranes, and a shoehorn to get the whale back into the bucket. They never, ever borrowed Billy's bucket again. It's the whale. <laughs> it's the shark or something. Maybe. I hope you enjoy. Please hit the like button and subscribe to Faithful Club 5047. Thank you so much.